mutual friend in high school. And then she played hard to get. Oh, for I forgot about that part. 10, 12 years. Yeah, it was a really long time. <laughs> it was back in 2007 or 8, and he added me on Facebook, and it's basically how we met. Um, I thought he was good looking, and then I also thought he was just super nice. Uh, he has a very soft side that not a lot of people actually see, and I just thought he was very sweet. Um, I thought he was good looking. <laughs> I thought she was gorgeous. I knew Derek was the one um, kind of from early on, but really one day I'll always remember is actually Valentine's Day, the first one we spent together. He had brought me roses and other things that I thought were sweet, um, but I have an older daughter, Rylan, who's five, and he brought her a little teddy bear and some other things. and. Um, it really kind of just sealed the deal for me. Knowing that she was a loving mom and good with kids and caring made me laugh. Every time that we went out and done something, we always had fun. And she was always there for me um, and supported me in all my habits. Quirks probably are that only I could love would be his stubbornness. Um, I'm almost as equally as stubborn, and I think he needed that. And I will say his dad bod, as he says. <laughs> well, the proposal, what he had told me was going to be, when I got off work, he was going to be there waiting with my oldest daughter, Rylan, ready to propose, but that didn't work because he couldn't get off in time. So then I went home after work, and. I didn't know what time he was going to be home. It was both of our birthdays. Came outside at the wrong time. And I came outside and ruined it. <laughs> I was just watering the flowers. But I wanted it to be on our birthday. I wanted it to be the, the proposal on our birthday. But it ended up working out okay. Could have been. She didn't see the writing at first, but I said, hey, look down. And then she ended up seeing what you wearing. Um, the biggest being the birth of our daughter, Lakin. That's the biggest and the best so far. Um, the next one would be building our house, which was stressful at times, but I'm so glad that we did it. The time that we went to Mexico and spent a week in Mexico together, and a couple awesome vacations with friends to Vegas. And, and the last thing would be uh, our uh, little girl, Lakin, being born. Two of the most stubborn people in the world. Very, very stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that we can continue to grow and continue, you know, to keep teaching our kids and uh, that we can live our life the best possible. And Sundays, was our big, biggest movie day. Family day. Usually movie day movie at night. night. Movie night. Yeah. Breakfast in the morning every Sunday. I always try to, I always try to cook breakfast for everybody every Sunday, just to do something. Right now is a happy and exciting time. Our kids are so little, but they grow so fast, and I just want to remember them taking all their firsts. Yeah, the first for the kids probably. The kids would probably have to be first just to get that experience, you know, that we, that we got to have, or even better, better experience for In five years, I would like to see us finish our house completely. Um, and I don't know, just simple things like watching the kids run in the backyard, playing the swing set. I'm all about just spending as much family time as we can together, just the little things. I would like to see ourselves getting our house finished completely so we don't have to worry about it anymore. Agree. It's a headache and a stressful one for both of us. Doing as much stress out with me. Yeah. Getting our house done and just continuing to raise Keep our kids. Our kids, and our kids healthy and safe and continue to grow with them. They, I think they teach us things sometimes. <laughs> They're not quite I that. Old. I said we're still learning about each other as, yeah. a, as our kids. Yeah. So.